competitions. Well, we're leaving the pool area and going to take a trip down to the little campground that we built on our property, which is known as the Coyote Hill campsite. And appropriately so, because we do hear a lot of coyotes at night. And this is one kind of wild area they roam around in. So when all these other residents hear the coyotes, a lot of times they're on our property. So now we're going down this little goat trail that Todd built on the side of our mountain. So you can see we have a series of switchbacks here that he lined with rocks and made a way to go up and down this hill, otherwise it was just too steep. So this was done with a shovel and a lot of labor on Todd's part, making us a trail down into the grove and directly to the campsite. So this is in the evening and it's just about getting time towards the sun to set here, maybe in a less than a half an hour. You're seeing some of our avocado trees. They've been around for a long time. You can see the white on some of these stumps, and that's where they had been stumped out earlier and they've grown back. I'm just making my way down the trail, checking out things and giving you a little visual of what this avocado grove looks like. Not a lot of avocados on the trees right now because they recently have been picked. Although sometimes they'll let them grow longer until they get bigger because certain size avocados fetch a better price. As we've been learning all about the avocado business. So now you can start to see the tent in the distance as we continue to meander down the trail. And our avocado groves has several flat roads in there, which I believe they built. So they allow them to harvest uh, the crop and get a truck in there and haul them out. Now we're going down our last switchback was actually a set of stairs cut into the side of the hill with the accompaniment of tree roots and rocks to help, but really cool little stairway that Todd made for us. The last bit, now we're on this little road kind of hard to tell it's a road because it's full of leaves. Avocados shed leaves all year round. So if you were to rake these, you'd never be done. So now we're working our way towards the campsite where the girls slept last night. They're going to sleep again tonight. Sophia and five of her, four of her friends. And those friends are Annie, Vanna, Savannah, and Haley. Where well, they slept last night. So we're nearing the end of our, uh, the south end of our property here with the, where the big trees end. And you can see it's kind of an interesting place. A uh, lot of good views. I'll get to those in a minute. Here's our little campsite with a fire pit in the middle. And of course you have to have a hammock, right? So there's our hammock. And there's our distance view over here. And if you back around here, you see, of course, an avocado tree. What else? And a den. And so the house is up that way. <laughs> now we'll go over here to see some of the views that you can see from the campsite. And what you're essentially looking down at is our old neighborhood. That's the street we used to live on, Fallbrook Place. And that's the cul-de-sac at the end of our street. And that little bit of a red roof you can see is a neighborhood school. And what you're looking at is essentially San Pasqual Valley, part of San Pasqual Valley. So the girls have a pretty nice vantage point here from the campsite. And uh, plenty of views as well as kind of an interesting place to camp. And that ends this segment of the story. Good day.